What's up guys, my name is Robin Campbell. I'm the founder of thedancedojo.com where we help you become a better social dancer. If you're just tuning in, this is our Finding the Beat course and it is progressive. So if you want to understand what's going on in this video, you need to watch the previous videos. All the links are in the video description below. So check those out first and let's get started. All right guys, so here we are in the Salsa Beat Machine, cool little app that allows you to create like a, an artificial environment with a looping uh, pattern of music so that you can practice hearing the beat, finding the one, uh, and once you get better at that, you can even use it to practice doing your, your salsa steps on the music, just some nice simple music. Uh, so we're, like I said, we're doing everything here in a more artificial environment first because it's a bit simpler to manipulate and learn from, and then we'll do it to music later. So let me first show you how this little app works, uh, and then we're going to do some games, some exercises to see how you are at first with finding the one. And then uh, I'll give you some tips on how maybe you can do this at home just by yourself and, and practice on your own. So first thing is first, uh, 180 beats per minute. Here's the, the beats per minute um, adjuster. Let's take it down to 140. Let's take it nice and slow. Salsa music can be anywhere from here to 250 plus beats per minute. So it gets really fast and it's really hard to, uh, to learn when it's fast. So let's take it down to 140 beats per minute. Uh, when you press play here, it's going to play all the instruments that you see are, are lit up. So you can click an instrument to turn it off. Uh, you also have a, an instructor with a voice that's going to count the music. So you can, you can always hit the gear icon on any one of these uh, instruments to adjust what you're hearing. So for example, he's going to count on the one and the five if you turn this on. So how I want, how I want us to start is we're going to play a game. So you're not going to look at these little red lights that light up and tell you which beat you're on. So when it's the one, the first light's going to light up and it goes one, two, three, four, five, six, seven, eight. So you're not going to look at the lights and you're not going to listen to the instructor counting. I want you to look away from the screen and just listen to what you hear and you're going to see if you can find the beat and then you're going to see if you can find the one. Okay? So it's a little test to see where you're at uh, and see with everything you've learned so far how you're doing. And then from there, we can dive a little deeper. Okay, so I want you to press play here in a second. And excuse the audio coming through the computer. It's not going to be very good. So you might just want to take this setup, pause this video, and go try it yourself after I show you what the exercise is so it sounds better and it's, it's easier to hear. If you're an audio engineer and you know how to get better audio from the computer and you can teach me how to do that, let me know. Thank you. Uh, so here we go. So clicking play, look away from the screen, see if you can hear the tempo, see if you can find the one. And whatever you do, don't try and do this in your head. Stand up, move, march, step, clap, snap, tap. It doesn't matter, but don't be still and don't be silent in your head. Okay, here we go. Oh, the red lights aren't working. Let's try this again. Can you hear the beat? Can you hear the beat? See if you can identify where the one is. Say one out loud. Now if you can hear the beat and you think you found the one, let's verify that. So look at these red dots or turn on the microphone. And that's how you verify if you found it. So were you able to find the beat? How'd you do? If not, uh, what might have been happening is you might have found yourself tapping to the cowbell. And let's just do that one more time. I'm just going to turn off these other instruments. You might have noticed that if you're tapping to the cowbell and looking at the red dots, the cowbell isn't hitting every red dot. So the cowbell actually hits every second beat, starting on one. So one, three, five, seven. So even if that's what you were doing, it's still great because that means you heard something and you're tuning into that and you're reacting to it. But now you know that the cowbell doesn't hit every beat, so you can't necessarily listen to it to find every beat. It's every second beat. So let's turn these instruments back on. And now what I want you to do is turn the cowbell off 
and let's just replace it with the maracas, for example. We're going to do the same exercise, so don't look at the screen, don't have the voice on, and let's see if you can hear the beat and find the one. Here we go. Found the beat. See if you can find the one. Okay. You can look at the red dots now and listen for the voice. Okay, so how'd you do? Did turning off the cowbell help at all? The maracas were hitting every, every beat, so it might have helped you find the beat a little bit better, a little bit more clearly, uh, to help you then find the one. So, those were just a couple little games to see where you're at, to see how you're doing. If you weren't able to find the beat or find the one, don't worry about it. We're going to simplify things right now so that you can do an exercise on your own after you turn this off and start exploring and studying on your own. Okay? So what I want you to try and do now is turn off all these instruments. Uh, we're going to turn off the, the voice as well. Uh, and we're just going to have the weirdo and the piano. So, as I mentioned before in our previous videos when we are talking about non-salsa music, often the percussion is what helps you find the beat, and then there's instruments on top that allow you to find the one. Because, for example, if you just listen to the weirdo here, you're going to notice that it's always symmetrical. There's no way to know where the one is. It helps you find the beat, but it doesn't really help you find which beat is the one. But if you add an asymmetrical pattern on top, so like a piano rhythm, piano groove, adding those two together allows you to start identifying where the one is. Piano is building, and it hits the one. 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 And you can turn on the voice to help. I. One. I. One. I. And if you listen closely, you're going to notice that the piano is taking two A counts to finish its pattern. It's going to start now. One. It's a little bit different the second time. One. New phrase one. And one. Five, six, seven, one. One. So you can also turn off the weirdo and try it with the maracas. So this is a great exercise just using one of these simple percussion instruments along with the piano to, one, hear the beat, and then find the one. And what you can do is you can change what, um, what rhythm or what montuno the piano is playing. So here's another really popular one called Agra Que Voy, and it's a Cuban song, timba, Cuban timba music. Um, so let's do the same thing and see if you can hear the one or hear that piano rhythm looping, phrasing and see if you can find one. 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 So again, this pattern is taking two eight counts and this piano on two notes taking two eight counts to finish its, its complete loop. One. In other words, it's phrasing in 16 beats. One.
as you can see, the piano is a very helpful instrument to help you find the one uh, when mixed with uh, some sort of percussion that helps mark the beat very clearly. Uh, you can even turn off that percussion and just play the piano and you should be able to find the one as well. Piano builds one. 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 It's building towards the phrase point. One. One. So there you go. Here's some really simple exercises you can use in the salsa beat machine to help you start playing with music, understanding music, and hearing the beat and finding the one. I recommend starting simple at first, with maybe just the piano or just a couple percussion instruments with the piano. Uh, you can change what rhythm the piano is playing. Um, and that's going to help you start simple. Then after you do that, you can start adding in more instruments, the cowbell, the clave, the bass, the timbales, and see if you can keep hearing the music, or sorry, keep hearing the beat and keep finding the one as you do that. Uh, and if you're able to do that, then start moving up the beats per minute a little bit to see if you're able to do it as the music gets faster. And again, as you do it, verify if you're finding the one by looking for the red blinking dot uh, on this first circle here, as well as turning on the microphone so you can hear the voice. So those are the first simple exercises you can do with the Salsa Beat Machine. I hope this is helpful. If you like this video, give it a thumbs up below. Uh, links in the description to Salsa Beat Machine and also subscribe if you want to get the next videos and hit that notification bell so those uh, the new videos show up in your feed. Hope you enjoyed this. Get ready for the next video. We've got lots more to come. Thanks a lot, guys.